Okay, today we have an unboxing video of the Aspire X3200 desktop computer from Acer. Okay, and this happens to be actually my wife's computer that I bought for her Christmas gift. We're opening it now because she wants to start using it now. As you know that uh, I tore up my Sony laptop, the one she was using in the bedroom that was hooked up to the uh, Samsung Samsung television. And she was using one of her Asus EE PC connected to the Samsung um, to watch and browse her internet. And so I decided since I took apart her Sony laptop, I, my Sony laptop that she was using, I um, decided to purchase this Acer desktop. Um, I was going to order a custom build one for about the same price. Probably would have been a much better computer, but I didn't want to wait that long. And also, this one runs pretty quiet. And pretty decent the specs are as follows it is a AMD uh, 3 core 8400 uh, processor triple core processor it runs at 2.1 gigahertz 4 gigabyte of DDR2 memory and I made sure uh, that uh, I looked at the operating system on it. It is Windows Vista 64 bit, so it will utilize all four gigabyte DDR2. It has a 320 gigabyte SATA hard drive, and uh, it has a multi layer, dual layer DVD RW, uh, gigabit Ethernet. 56k modem, keyboard and mouse, and US, USB uh, speakers. Um, let's get it open. And the, I, I was trying to persuade my wife to get a Mac Mini, and I told her that she could put Windows XP on it, but she didn't want it. Plus, this definitely has uh, more specs for the money. Um, there's no way you're going to get this kind of spec in a Mac Mini and spend the amount of money that I spent on this uh, desktop. Um, this cost under $500. $479 for this desktop. And for the spec, you can't beat it. Um, it's triple core. Okay, these are the uh, speakers. We won't bother with them. Probably not very good quality. Um, here's the keyboard. Standard USB keyboard. Won't bother with that either. I'll probably use it on my PS3 since we already have a wireless keyboard. Um, with monitor, it would have cost $600. And of course, we didn't need the monitor, so we didn't get it. So we wound up paying with tax and and everything uh, 500 and some change because we also got this Dynex um, and USB adapter. Let's get this out of here. No, it's not small as the, it's not small as the Mac Mini, but in my opinion, it'll do. 
I mean, it doesn't have to be super small, but for a desktop, as you can see, it's pretty small. And I did look at the model that was on display, and I, let me tell you, it is super duper quiet. You can't you, can, you can't hear it at all. And it being a AMD processor, it will use less electricity than the Intel Core Dual. This being a triple core, I think. Um, well, the first of all, I went to the performance uh, section of the control panel. And looked at the uh, performance specs, and let me tell you, it's pretty high. It's almost as high as my custom-built gaming machine. This has a, a Windows Area performance rating of 4.3, uh, and only because um, the only thing that's lacking in this is the graphics card. Everything else is just off the charts. It's 5.5 and above. So yes, this is. A super duper machine with four gigabytes of RAM, uh, 320 gigabyte of hard drive. It has a decent um, graphics performance, not a very uh, high end one, but it's up there. Here's the mouse. Uh, it comes with uh, the memory card readers, all of the uh, memory card readers one, two, three, four, five USB. Uh, connections and one mini fire wire I guess that's what that is and this is the CD drive back here uh, DVD I mean drive oh and it also has a HDMI connection along with your regular VGA um, and it has one two three four more uh, uh, USB connections and the gigabit gigabit Ethernet port, HDMI connection, and a SATA port, e SATA port. So, <laughs> uh, like I said, the only thing that's missing on it is the wireless network adapter, and I got that. I have the USB one here, the N N one. So we're set to go. We'll set it up. And I'll do a review on it once it's set up. Thanks for watching. Okay, it's all set up. Here's the Aspire. And the printer next to it. And here's what it's hooked up to, the Samsung TV. It's working fine.